Hello and welcome to Demo Dash. This time it's going to be a bit special because a year ago I uploaded my first video, Demo Dash 1. Now Demo Dash 10 here happens to fall on a year later, so I decided to do a little uh, tribute or flashback to the first Demo Dash. So uh, here we have Demo Dash 10 and Survival, and I'm using the original Demo Dash seed, so it will spawn us on the base island with a bonus chest, just like you know how it was in the first season with the demo. But I considered doing vanilla, but I decided I wanted to do something a bit different. So I used some mods, and yeah, let me just uh, load up the world and you'll see how it is. Okay, so doesn't this look great? Well, pretty much what I decided to do is, I had to make it modded anyway, so I could have the timer at the top, and I gave myself an extra minute to help transition between creating the world. But I decided to go for the theme of Vanilla Enhanced and kind of add mods that weren't really like super modded. There's not like a whole bunch of crazy new weapons or items or even mobs or anything. It just is meant to be like Vanilla, but kind of enhanced a bit. So I have inventory tweaks here. I have shaders on because I actually don't think I really got to use shaders before. I mean, I played with them a bit in the past, but this is the first time I think I've actually got to actually use them. And uh, I'm using Zan's minimap or voxel map or whatever one you want to call it. And yeah. So, uh, since it actually started, let's begin. Well, if you watch season one, you'll know this world already. It's the default demo dash world that you get when you play the demo. So I decided to use this seed just for old time's sake, and uh, my goal will be to get an enchantment table. But not just any enchantment table, the enchanting plus enchantment table. And that actually pauses when I open it, I forgot to configure that. Oh well. So uh, if I type enchant, you'll see the advanced enchantment table here. So not only do we have to get a normal one, we'll have to go to nether and get an eye of ender plus some gold and obsidian. But with some of the mods I have, hopefully it will be a bit easier. What do I mean? Well the first mod here, Vein miner, <laughs> because I thought it would be a little easier if we could just hit it once and mine it. Also, you'll probably know some of these uh, fancy HUDs. Uh, the one I have for my toolbar is Compact Display HUD. I thought it looks really smooth and clean with a whole bunch of really cool utilities, and you can see when I'm recording this. And I also have the voxel map, as I mentioned already. I have shaders on, of course the time detector demo dash mod for the counter. And on the left of my screen, there's a little meter, which every time it fills up, I'll get some experience from a mod called Life Experience. Okay, so I have some coal here, and now let's mine it, and... Vein Miner, and we got a bunch of coal. I also did uh, use Ores Drop Mores too, to adjust the rate of some of the ore drops, so we'll tend to get more, and more experience from as well. And with the whole general theme of enchantments, I thought it fit well. Uh, oh... Uh, I also have haste here because I'm using armor effect, so when I have a wood tool but no armor, I'll get haste, kind of as a little uh, bonus, I guess you could call it, for using a wood tool, <laughs> you know, just to make it easier for starting out, but I had the fact you had to have no armor so it wasn't overpowered. So anyway, let me just uh, get some tools here, and I'm not sure where I really want to head. Because, I mean, we've been all over this era before, and I did uh, do some fly around checks to make sure, and it's pretty much just as it was before. I haven't seen any real noticeable differences, so, um, I don't know. Actually, the ravine's right over here, isn't it? Yep, there's the ravine. Also, shaders will make it a little interesting, to say the least, because, uh, it can make some things brighter and darker, and yeah. So, uh, I think this might be the ravine from Demo Dash 1, I can't remember. I think I actually probably came down right here in it. <laughs> and then I was looking around all the time for diamonds. Also, uh, just to clarify, uh, Ores Drop Mores 2 does add raw iron, which is an item form of it, not the block form. So that's how you can get more iron. There's also a version of it for gold. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the exact same area. Uh, one thing I need to... Oh my god, that was a lot of coal. You probably can hear me getting bombarded by experience. I'm not sure how well this will turn out on editing due to shaders and everything. Oh, spider eyes look really creepy. But uh, I do have dynamic lights just for the purpose of making it a bit cooler. You know, the visuals go really well, the shaders. And uh, yeah, pretty much my... Oh god. 
Huh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. But I would like to get down the ravine. I think this is the same ravine as before. Actually, I think down there is where the creeper ambushed me at the start of Demo episode 2 of Demo Dash 1. Good times. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a little outpost right here for now. And get, a. Uh, ooh, I need to get more stone. But either way, I want to get, uh, uh you'll just see. Give me one minute. <laughs> Okay, well, I just got some iron smelted so we can make the first item I wanted to make, which is an iron helm. But I altered the recipe to require a torch in it. Why a torch? Because, let me just break this for the effect. Okay, that's kind of still casting light. Okay, I'll go over here into the area that's probably very dark because YouTube really messes with the brightness. Oh, skeleton. And if I put this on, ta-da! Now we have a very... Wow, that's a lot weaker than I thought it would be. Um... Hmm. Well, it's a light source anyway. It must be the shaders making it seem darker than it is. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well, hopefully uh, we can get some diamonds quickly or some gold or something because they make the better helms. Uh, gold and diamond are very bright compared to that anyway. So uh, we already got some iron. And enough to make an iron pickaxe anyway. So let me just uh, swap this here. And... I don't know, let's just bring this with us and see how far we can get. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> we need string. Did it drop string? I'm not sure. But we need string for one of the other items. There is... I added very few items for mods, but what I did add was, uh... I should just make sure to keep doing that. Okay, we got a bunch more iron. Holy crap, I probably, uh, made those rates a little too generous considering Vein Miner. But, uh, oh well. I mean, we got a ton of coal and a ton of iron. I guess po part of the reason I did that was because I didn't want to spend a ton of time mining, but, um, yeah, I guess I might already be going a bit quicker. But this still doesn't really help us get diamond, so... Well, I dug out to get some water in a bucket just as the sun was setting, and I happened to dug out right next to this coal spot here. Where's my little hole back? There it is. Oh, that reminds me, I do need, uh, food. Sorry, pig. Oh, yeah, uh, if you can't tell, the food is the little brown meter there. Which is a bit hard to see, and I often forget about it, because it's not as obvious. And we go underwater, the shaders actually make underwater really cool, in my opinion. Better like this. So this will be our tunnel down to the mines. And we have our little area here. Uh, just so mobs don't destroy me. I think I'm going to build a little uh, wall up here. Also, I got some more coal, even though we didn't need it. More so for the experience. Not sure why my screen just did that. Okay. And uh, since we have no coal shortage, let me make another furnace to get those pork chops smelting. Actually, I think I'm going to go out and get a couple more and make some armor just in case other things come and try and kill me. Oh, God! <laughs> Ow. I think I'm gonna go get those pork chops so I can start healing as I try and find pork chops. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't go so well, though. At least we know where the entrance is now. And that it is dark enough to spawn mobs. So, uh... Yeah, I couldn't really find a better way to do the whole torch thing. And I do hope you can see I will be trying to adjust the brightness and editing. But that doesn't always go well. But, oh well, shaders are worth it. At least for this one time. If it doesn't end up well, I'll probably not use shaders again. Okay. Multitasking. Okay, so we're almost at the end of day one, and I kind of made a little base here. I left the workbench and some pork cooking, put down the chest with some of the stuff we probably won't need going down to a mine. But I decided instead of just ending it here, let's uh, kind of charge recklessly into the mine. And I need to find a good spot to throw down the water. Which will be our only way to get up and down. Which is probably a horrible idea considering how that has been in the past to me and water elevators and whatever you want to call them. Water as a means of transport. So let me just light this area up and uh... 
I hope this works. Ah! Skeleton keeps shooting me into the water. Also, he has fire resistance. I probably should explain that. This area looks very familiar. Uh, where was it? I think it was back over here. Uh, like I said, I think this was the area. Uh, probably should light this up. If this is the area I'm thinking. Uh, that sounds very familiar. Yeah, I remember this. Didn't the same thing happen in Double Dash 1? Where I fought a skeleton kind of like this and fell into this cavern. There was another skeleton. Ah, oh, zombie. And isn't this the cave I went mining in and fa eventually... Ah! Just because my minimap shows where those mobs are doesn't mean I'm looking. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think this might have been one of the caves where I ended up finding diamond or obsidian or something like that. Yep, this is definitely the cave. I remember this area. However, if there are diamonds, I do not remember. I do remember this area, though. Hmm. So, we're kind of uh, going back to familiar territory. That's kind of good. I don't remember exactly where the diamonds are, nor do I really want to look and cheat. Because if I go right for diamonds, this will go very quickly. We also need gold, though, so... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the light here. I think it's kind of showing the moonlight, even though we're in a cavern. Shaders? Uh, that's all I'm gonna say, shaders. <laughs> uh, let's see. Didn't this loop back to a- oh, Yeah, it looped back to a different cavern area that I think has creepers somewhere. Yep, there's creepers. And we're not even deep enough for most of the good ores. And another creeper. Oh, sweet! Uh, I probably should mention some of the other mods I have. Let's down here again. Oh! More cavern. I'm gonna get so lost doing this. And gold! And it works like iron, so we just got a ton of it. <laughs> eh, come on. Oh, even more gold. Hey, yeah, maybe we'll even get some gold apples or something. I don't know. Whatever else gold is used for, we'll get that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I remember this. Didn't I get caught right here? A skeleton shot at me and I made like a little fort to heal up so I didn't die. This seems like the spot. Oh, wow, that's casting a really odd light. Huh. So, yeah, I don't want to mine a ton of resources because we can get a bunch easily and... Uh, darn lighting. Oh, gold helmet. That's something I did want to make, though. And more gold. Well, I think it might be day, which explains these weird lights. And, uh, yeah, this is deep enough. And I do also have water to mine obsidian. Oh! I forgot about that. I set vein miner to work on gravel. <laughs> because gravel's a pain. Bunch of redstone, some more iron. Okay, I really just need to find diamonds now, and uh, I think I might have messed up the lava here. I was hoping to kind of use it for obsidian, but oh well. And if you're wondering why it's doing that, I think the shaders are kind of messing up a little. Here, actually, let me uh, just, uh, that's what shaders I'm using, by the way. So, uh, yeah, this is how the cave would normally look. Actually looks brighter than it should. This is how the cave looks with the shaders. Which is still taking into account clouds. But I'm underground. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, ditch the shaders if it doesn't turn out well. Uh, I can always change it for episode 2. But anyway, I already went over my time for episode 1. So let me just wrap it up here. Hopefully you like this even though I haven't fully explained everything. But pretty much I'm going for an enchantment table. And there's some other kind of references to season 1 with some of the mob drops. Like this... Uh, Chaos potion here. Saturation, but instant damage. Well, it heals our food, but it hurts us horribly.
Anyway, uh, if we do have time, I'd like to explore some of those other little uh, references to season one. But for now, I really need to wrap it up. And if you do have any suggestions for where I should go or what I should do, because I kind of used this world before, or the seed before, or Demo Dash 1. So if you do have any suggestions for something I should go check out, let me know. And until next time, goodbye.